Hi everyone, Vegetable Man here. Today we've got a replay in the Terror of Tier 4 at Kamikaze. I've wanted this ship for a very long time. I never actually had it in the PC version, which I played for about three years. And uh, I got this ship in Legends through the Firepower Deluxe pack, which comes with a, a hard copy disc and at really good value for money. I think it was 65 New Zealand dollars and came with uh, Texas, Iwaki, Arizona, and the Kamikaze, as well as some doubloons and some premium time. So yeah, I'd certainly recommend if you don't have those ships picking it up, or if you do have the exact ships, uh, you get doubloon compensation as well. So I already had the Texas, so I got doubloon compensation for that. So that was pretty good. Anyway, this ship has lived up pretty much exactly to my uh, expectations of being one of the most overpowered ships in the game. It really should be a tier 5 I think, but uh, it's got fast reloading torpedoes that are really fast, hit really hard, and fantastic concealment. And uh, that combined with low tier uh, opponents makes for quite a fun experience. We've got a standard battle here, and um, tier 5, so we are bottom tier. Not that that really matters in this game, obviously in the other wargaming uh, like World of Tanks or World of Warships on PC, where you've got a two tier spread, it really does make a difference, but not so much in this game, only a single tier spread, which is great. I wish the other games would embrace that. I'm looking at this Spuzo here, he's sitting stationary, I don't think he's AFK. But he's definitely stationary. I want to get reasonably close before I shoot my torpedoes, give him as little time to react as I can. 30 second time there to get six kilometers so you can see how fast they are. Two torpedoes, so it's two torpedoes per tube, and you've got three tubes. So I launch all three tubes in them, and you can see I'm only 30 seconds now till they reload the first tube already. That is quite something with these torpedoes. And you can see how far I pushed in, unspotted. I really can't tell, maybe that guy is AFK, I'm not sure. Either way, he's going to eat a bunch of my torps. One, two, three, four. And he's going to eat all of them, and he's going to die. So, that would normally have been a devastating strike, but uh, because of the spread of the torpedoes, the time I took between them, it didn't result in one. Now we're going to target this guy. See all my torpedoes are reloaded already. Now I can push in nice and close to him. I think my detection range is about 4.9. Uh, so pretty hard for him to spot me and very little reaction time. Uh, if he did spot me anyway to when he sees the torpedoes. But really good trick with the, um, if you were playing a torpedo boat, so normally a Japanese destroyer, you'll play primarily as a torpedo boat. Try it not to get spotted by the battleship that you're torpedoing. Because as soon as he spots you, he's going to start making course adjustments, or he certainly should be, because he'll know that torpedoes are on the way. So do your best to avoid getting spotted when you're going on a torpedo run, so they don't know where you are or where the torpedoes are coming from. Two for two at the moment, ships-wise. We're slightly ahead on points. Not actually sure why that is. Maybe it's one of us was on the cap for a little bit. In the standard battle, if you are on their cap, you do start collecting points straight away. And here we go. One, two, three, four, and five torpedoes. Doesn't quite kill him, uh, but takes away almost all of his health. I'm gonna smoke up and start shooting him. Uh, for some reason, I've got my AP loaded. <laughs> But uh, I'll start shooting at you. Try and set him on fire. Uh, obviously, he's repaired the flood, so I want to set him on fire, and then he'll burn to death. And actually, Kamikaze's got good uh, strike guns, I'd call them, I guess. Uh, so the Alpha is obviously not against battleships, but the Alpha is pretty high. Reloads quite slow, and the Traverse is slow, but against other destroyers, you can really put the uh, put the wobblies at them by <laughs> by shooting them. You can do a good two two to two and a half k volleys. Really hoping for a fire here. Haven't got lucky so far. Normally the Kamikaze guns, uh, you've got quite good fire chance. Well, 
they always do have quite good fire chance, it's just not quite paying off for me here. He's probably not too far away from his heel coming back in here, so... He's got unspotted now. I'm sitting on their base, not because I want to cap necessarily, just because I'm here. Concentrate fire on the designated target. So I'm going to push back towards them now. There's a Graf Spay around here somewhere too. Uh, Tanya, a couple of other ships. There's the Graf Spay. It's the Angry Mosquito. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see uh, a couple of numbers at the end of someone's name, I kind of assume it was the year they were born. And make uh, judgments I probably shouldn't make <laughs> on their potential skill level. Britannia's <laughs> uh, gone down, there's an emerald here. I was meant to call target on them, but the control wheel is very buggy. Um, often you'll be looking at the base or something and it'll keep pinging support the battleship or something like that. It's, yeah, really buggy. Um, I'd like to see Wargaming we'll do a bit of work on that actually. A little bit of a spread there on the torps, try and catch the widest area. I only need one or two hits to take them down, so I want to spread them a little bit. Obviously, fire them in a narrow spread because you want to have as much, as little gap between the sets of torpedoes as possible. It looks like he's going to eat a couple and he should go down. Two torpedoes, it's our second kill. And it was even on kills. We're now one ahead, but the Leander has quickly closed it on me. I wasn't paying enough attention to the minimap. It's too busy concentrating on the Juicy Fuzo and I've let him catch up to me. So now I'm going to drop a few torpedoes and quite a a widish spread here and sail away because I don't want him to see me because he will kill me very quickly and he turns straight away uh, whether he's turning because of my torpedoes I don't think so it's unlikely he knew that I find them there is a way to tell that someone is targeting you with torpedoes if you have the skill on your ship not every captain has it but that shows the number of ships targeting you if you see that number flick from, for example, 1 to 0, back to 1 again, that means that a destroyer is likely looking at you, has switched from his guns to torpedo tubes, launched torpedoes, and then gone back to his guns again. So if you are torpedoing someone, and you think they might be a higher level of skill and might know this trick, don't switch to your guns, stay on your torpedo tu tubes, and that number won't flick up and down. Four ships to three now, they've just done a bit of a trade there. I'm just trying to keep that Leander spotted as well while torpedoing him. Hoping our cruisers will take him down. He's probably got his hydro running there. He's done a good job of avoiding my torpedoes so far, but I'm still pigeonholing him. So he has to sail in certain directions to avoid my torpedoes. I let him get a little bit close there. My detection's actually five kilometers, not 4.9, maybe 5.1. He's going to give me a broadside, so very shortly we've lost another ship, it's now 3 all. I'm going to send a few more torpedoes his way. He's getting closer and harder, it's getting harder and harder for him to avoid me. Let my guns even out. There we go, Normandy, take him down, it's good. Pensacola's coming in. My smoke's run out, so I've got to be a little bit careful here. But my smoke hasn't run out, sorry, I've got no smokes left and I'm not loaded. I'm going to send a few torps out there because I'm pretty sure a destroyer is about to wander around the corner. There he comes. Utsuki. Didn't quite get the spread right, my others weren't reloaded. So we're just going to have to blast them and I'm going to try if the high caliber comes up. I'm going to try to not get shot by the Spencer Collar, which is going to be a real challenge. So I'm pointing my bow in towards him. And I've decided that I can worry about the Mitsuki later. I have to worry about the Spencer Collar. 
dodge a shot. Drop a couple of torpedoes. Two spreads. Got one more spread left to come up. As you can see, that fantastic reload time means I've got them again, but I'm going to save these ones till I get a little bit closer. Engine gets broken. I use my repair. I don't want to be sitting stationary in front of him right now. I lose my torpedo tubes, but he sails straight into my torpedoes. Devastating strike. Another ship down. Now, I'm detected by the, by the plane, but I'm going to go and hunt this destroyer so we can end this game. 133,000 damage and uh, 15 torpedo hits. Uh, yeah, there's no doubting this thing is pretty overpowered, but man, it's fun to play. If ever I wanted to get torpedo hits for a mission or something, this is the ship I jumped into. Much more reliable than pretty much any other torpedo destroyer in the game in terms of getting torpedo hits. Futsuki pops up. He's pushing in it's hard. He's smoking, but for some reason he's pushing out of his smoke. There you go. Set him on fire. Good hit. Normandy takes him down, and that's the game wrap up. Nothing too spectacular, but just a good showcase of what the Kamikaze is really good at. We've got Devastating Strike, High Caliber, 15 torpedo hits and 3 kills. Reasonably happy with that. Team results screen. Top the team. Yeah, Normandy got 5 kills, so he played a great game. Um, between the two of us, actually the top three of us, we took all the kills in the team. We had one AFK Fuso. Ah, but they had AFK as well by the looks of it, so all balances out in the end. Pretty good money maker as well, really, for a tier 4, with only the common credits booster on and premium time, that's 330,000 silver. Have a look at how I have my captain and ship set up. Ship set up, there's only one upgrade, and there's only one option you take in that slot, and that is the aiming systems mod 1. Uh, mainly because you speed up the um, torpedo launcher traverse speed, which is pretty handy. And I've only got Tanaka up to 7 at the moment, so he's got increased torpedo damage, so he's my torpedo captain build. Uh, and I do run as an inspiration. I've got uh, Louis Violette, uh, that's probably wrong, but anyway, uh, and that's for the decreased detectability time after firing your guns on the odd occasion you do want to fire. So as I said torpedo build, better torpedo relaunch, faster torpedoes at the cost of reload time of destroyers main guns, don't care, it's worth it. For the better torpedoes you build to the ship strength. Uh, we have decreased detectability so I can get as close as possible. I lose a bit of HP but again this is a torpedo build. Launches reload time decreased. I've really gone hard for the torpedo build as you can see and a little bit more destroyer speed at the cost of precision of destroyer guns. You don't really care about precision, I mean 5% at the ranges you're firing at means nothing. If I was going to go for the legendary, I'm not sure which one I'd go for in the slot. Probably unstoppable because of the reduced mobility with a disabled engine, so at least you can move. Yeah, anyway. Um, just having a quick look here at the, uh, the maneuverability, so you look at that, it's almost 40 knots, so very fast, very good rudder shift time and turning circle, and the concealment, there we are, 5.1, I think I have improved that actually since, uh, since I played this game, so, anyway, that's the Kamikaze, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later.